I consider myself extremely fortunate to have a song uh, like that, which is a kind of globally recognized song. And, you know, if you can get just one of those in your career, then please, God, yes. I never get tired of singing it. I know you're probably a little tired because you were up late last night performing at this uh, big event for that benefits local charities. How exciting was that for you to get out and, you know, perform again for people? It was lots of fun. Um, you know, admittedly, it was two or three songs, but mm -hmm. uh, it was for a great cause, Share. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, yeah, anytime, you know, one gets the opportunity to, to do something for children, uh, particularly during this difficult um, time, which hopefully will come to some sort of, some semblance of an end. Mm -hmm. um, but anytime one gets the opportunity to do something for children, then then that's obviously a good thing. So it was great. Thank you. Definitely. I mean, do you? I'm sure you miss performing in front of a live audience, especially during this time. It's probably been very strange. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing. There's nothing like performing in front of a live audience. But then, you know. There's an old say necessity being the mother of invention. And I think that uh, doing these kind of gigs, you know, over the airwaves, as it were, um, it, it's been interesting and it's, and, it's, and it's required those of us that have been doing it to kind of think differently. So it's not all bad, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yes, of course, there's nothing that will ever kind of take the place of performing to someone or with someone in a... In a you know, face-to-face -face situation, but um, but you know, some good things have come from from this new way, this this paradigm shift. Mm -hmm. Has this you know past year inspired new music for you? Yes, everyone asked that question. Yes, mm -hmm. I played so? something last night. Actually, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it has, uh, and you know, it's 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 inspired all kinds of songs. Obviously, songs dealing with the situation. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, but also uh, it's it's inspired a lot of love songs because uh, I think that's a, that's a topic that has become a lot more uh, uh, talked about and sung about the topic of love you know and and that's not just necessarily love between two people but that's self love too so mm -hmm. so yes it's inspired a lot of music. Yeah, I mean, you told a story about how Kiss from a Rose came together last night. Did you ever think at the time that that song would be what it became? No, I don't think anyone did. So, um, yeah, stranger things have happened. I, 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 I didn't know. I mean, I thought, I thought it was okay, but it wasn't a song that I was particularly proud of. Why weren't you proud of it? Well, because I was into like rock at the, at the time and, mm -hmm. and I was into things that were a little more harder hitting, but little did I know. Right. Do you ever get sick of performing it? No. No. No, no. I, I'm not one of those who, you know, who doesn't like singing their old songs. I, I'm, I consider myself extremely fortunate to have a song uh, like that, which is a kind of globally recognized song. And, you know, if you can get just one of those in your career then please god yes yeah so definitely. I, ne I never get i never get tired of singing it